Hi everyone, my name is Andreas. I'm from the digital acceleration team which sits in the retail and technology market in the UK. This is the second Hangout on Air for August. So we did one earlier on the month which was on shopping, I was joined by our shopping specialist Paul Brett. And today I'm gonna to be taking you through uh, the content. So in terms of what's on the agenda, we're gonna go back to basics with Google search simple high level approach just want to emphasize one really important point around ad extensions um, in the uk today and then i also want to take you through what's new what's coming some relevant updates that i think are going to be really important for you guys as i said i'm normally joined by a real person in the form of a specialist to take you through the content but because i'm here on my own today i am joined by two wonderful android teddy bears on either side of me who um, are behaving themselves so far which is great so let's get stuck in to the content. So as I said, we're gonna be going through Google search and then a, a snapshot into what's new and what's coming. So when it comes to Google search, there's three core pillars that I like to, to remind people about. The first is being there. So it's being there for your users. It's ensuring you have enough budget at all times so that when you're your users are searching for you, they can find you. Um, the second is being relevant. It's about having smart ad copy that's designed to get you the best return on your investment with Google and also to attract um, the most qualified customers to your business. And then the third pillar, which um, I've spoken about before, is about bidding smarter. So this is could be automated bidding, such as conversion optimizer, enhanced CPC. We have a host of different options there, but to simplify what that really means, it's about you know, bidding as much as you can to get the best return on your investment. So bidding whilst remaining profitable, as high as you can essentially, ensuring you have a really suitable position in AdWords for your business so you can achieve your objectives. And then two sort of underpinnings which are really important and crucial for all of these pillars are one is audience signals, which we've, we've, we've heard an awful lot about recently and rightly so, it's, it's a really effective way to um, drive increased profitability using uh, audience data. So remarking this for search ads is one, or potentially dynamic marketing is another um, really powerful device and display that uses uh, audience signals. And then the, 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 you know, the center of, of all things digital is measurement. Uh, we work in an industry where we can test and measure things and, and see what impact we've had really, really quickly compared to other industries. So that's another crucial underpinning here. So, how is ad position determined? Ad position basically comes down to ad rank. Um, ad rank determines what competitors enter the auction and in what position, basically. So, without going into too much detail around it, uh, there's three core components of that. One is quality score, which is your expected click to rate based on historical performance in in Google AdWords, that's why we're, we, you know, when, when someone is talking about creating a new account for something, we always emphasize the point that, have you got everything boxed off? Are you prepared? Because you're gonna lose potentially a little bit of history depending on what it is you're gonna do. So expect to click your rate is very important there. Ad relevance, again, is, is equally important. So whenever a user goes to Google, enters in a query, they type in a query, they wanna see something in an ad that's relevant to that query, and then when they click through, they wanna see a really nice, relevant landing page experience as well. So quality score is one core component. Bid is another. It used to be, I think, maybe over three years ago or four years ago, ad rank was, was simply quality score multiplied by bid or max CPC, as is more commonly known. What's really crucial here is there's a third piece, um, which is ad extensions and ad formats. Um, and I felt it was worth bringing this up as a piece of content today, particularly as we come into Q4, because there's a number of advertisers in the UK that aren't getting the best return on investment as they could be um, because they don't have um, as many extensions within their accounts as possible. And that's what I wanted to talk about briefly. So that's clear then with ad rank. We're looking at quality score, we're looking at our bid um, and also extensions and formats, which, which plays a piece. And it, when it comes to extensions and formats, we're looking at the impact of those extensions um, and how they're gonna perform in the account. So what can ad extensions do for my ads? Okay, so if you have an ad and you're in Google and you're paying to be there and you have relevant you know, 
keywords, relevant ad copy, relevant landing pages, and you're getting conversions, that's great. But the whole point of ad extensions is to help you stand out even further. So there's so many different types of ad extensions that are gonna give you a run through in, in the next slide. But the reason why we recommend it is it increases your real estate space on, um, on the landing page or on, on Google. It's really relevant for your users. They get to learn more about your business. And uh, most importantly, you get to benefit from if all the extensions and the ad copy is really relevant, you generally get an average 10 to 15% click-through rate uplift per new extension type implemented. So what that basically means is it doesn't mean it could be confusing. It doesn't mean you're going to get a 10% click-through rate for everything. It means if, you're, if your click-through rate is currently 2%, you're going to get a 10% improvement on that 2%, basically. So the second factor is driving efficiency. So having additional ad extensions within your ad copy is going to help you get potentially more traffic at a lower cost per click, um, essentially. So that's where it comes into the ad rank piece um, that I was talking about earlier. And then thirdly, the third main reason for it is you could boost some conversions as a result of it. So depending on what your objectives are, as I said, there's many different types of ad extensions which we're going to go through now in a second. But why wouldn't you want to um, have as many included that are relevant for your users since you're already paying to be there to help you one, stand out, drive more efficiency, and potentially boost more conversions as well. All these touch points matter in, in advertising, as we know. So when it comes to extensions, I thought it'd be nice to put together a fairly simple slide that, that explains what we can do and the different stories you can tell. So if you're looking to reinforce trust, there's, there's great options there. We've got review extensions, we've got seller ratings, we've got consumer ratings. If you're looking to tell a story, you've got site links, you've got call out extensions, structured snippets is another one. Um, if you want to drive online conversions and you've an app, you can now promote your app on Google um, as well. Huge scale, really effective uh, way to drive app downloads at a lower cost um, than you'd expect. Site links as well is another great way to drive additional conversions. And a new one, which I'm going to be talking about, is price extensions. Sort of came out um, kind of soft launched, but it's really relevant if you're an e-commerce business and, and, and you have, you know, you're interested in promoting your products and, and showing the prices um, within an extension format of your ad. So it's really useful for users to have that information. It's only on mobile as well, which I'll talk about in a sec. Another thing you can do is if you want to drive offline conversions, We've got location extensions and call extensions. Um, you may also have heard of store visits. So it's, it's an initiative being run by Google at the minute. If you speak to your accounting, they'll be able to give you more in-depth information about it. But one of the core um, factors that we need for store visit data is to ensure advertisers who have stores also have location extensions completed in their accounts to have the best possible chance of being able to record that information. So that's a fairly tactical extension that plays a role really importantly in the whole offline to or online to offline piece. Um, so, you know, you need location extensions to have that strategic piece when it comes to store visits um, and closing the loop from online to offline on mobile as well. And then call extensions, the same thing. If you're interested in driving calls to your business, there's an opportunity to do that. Um, you can also track um, you know, micro conversion. So if a call hits, say, one and a half minutes is what you would determine usually the length of time it takes to, to give um, someone who called your business the information they want or a sale, whatever, you can track that in, in AdWords and say, okay, once 90 seconds comes along, let's track that as a conversion or a micro conversion, which is really important because um, it just makes sense to try and close the loop on all these micro moments that people are, are facing every day. And that's one way to do it there with call extensions. So what are the extensions that matter in 2016 for you? So as I said, I'm looking from left to, to right, we've got site links, um, which as you know, they've been around a long time. Um, great way to give more information to different parts of your site, deeper links to different pages of content that are relevant. We've got call out extensions, which you can see from the red box around it, where it's a, it's a great way for advertisers to promote um, additional benefits in their ad copy. Maybe you, you, you used to put your benefits in, in, in some of the copy above that, but now you can actually get an extension in which covers the call out, so you can have more, more space to write actual copy um, that you'd like to, to write, basically, to users. 
We've also got price extensions, which, as I said, is new. Um, have another slide coming up, which will give you a bit more information about it. We'll run through it in a bit more detail. It's just for mobile only, this one. We've also got structured snippets, which, as you can see, sometimes we get uh, questions about what's the difference between call-outs and structured snippets. I like to think of call-outs as just calling out the benefits, uh, whereas structured snippets, in this example, we're looking at a university um, ad, and we can see the different types of education that they have on offer. So they specify programs such as management, nursing, psychology. If you were a furniture retailer, for example, you could have potentially sofas here, such as L-shaped L -shaped, uh, sofas, corner sofas, leather sofas, fabric sofas, etc. So a really useful, um, a really useful way to get additional relevant content out there to your users. And then just starting on the second round now, we've got app extensions, great ways to promote apps, review extensions. If a third party site has said something positive, um, about your business that you're proud of and you'd like to reference it, um, you're, you're in a position to do that through review extensions, which is great. Also, call extensions, as I said before, really useful way to drive additional calls to your business if that's one of your objectives, of course, and then location extensions, helping users find your stories, helping them get there, um, and also plays quite an important role strategically when it comes to uh, store visits if you have stores and helping close the loop from a user on a mobile device going into store and converting gives you a bit more information to, to, to try and um, uh, close the loop there from an attribution perspective. Cool, so what are the important updates that are coming? Expanded text ads is coming really soon actually. So we're nearly in September now. So from the 26th of October, it's no longer gonna be possible to create or edit standard text ads. Um, it's fully launched, supported in AdWords Editor. Um, we really encourage advertisers to, to create and test multiple um, expanded text ads for ad group alongside standard text ads even to test and include specific information similar to when you're writing normal ad copy. Relevant information, try to get some benefits that are useful to users, focus on, on key selling points that you as a business offer and most importantly ensure that those benefits and that content is also relevant when a user clicks through and goes to your landing page. So the main difference between this and standard text ads is you're going to get more copy. So it's essentially increasing the size of the standard of, of an ad text, basically. That's why it's called expanded. But typically before you'd have 25 as a headline, 25 characters, and you'd also have 35 characters for description line one, 35 characters for description line two. What's coming out with expanded text ads, you're going to get two lines of 30 characters at the top and also um, an additional body of text up to 80 characters below that as well, which is uh, which is really useful. So um, some advertisers are using it at the minute. Um, it's, it's changing every day. More and more advertisers are getting on board with it. But the action would really be to, to get your copy done, get it created, don't leave it to the last minute. Again, it's an AdWords editor, so your, your, your teams of the people who create the ads are able to get this done at scale. Second piece I wanted to bring your attention to was price extensions. So this is a mobile only format. Um, you have to be in position one as well to take advantage of it. And essentially what it is, it's really useful for, for e-commerce businesses who want to call out different prices um, to products that they sell. It could be top products, for example. Um, it can co-trigger and be used in combination with other ad formats, the only exception being site links. And you can create multiple price extensions with you know, corresponding start and end dates for time sensitive offers. So this is available in the UK um, in English language as well, only at the moment, but it's planned for a further launch across Europe um, in the coming months. Um, also worth stating that in AdWords in the business data section, you're able to upload a feed for price extensions, um, or you can also do it manually within the account as well. So any other information you need on this, please do reach out to your, to your account teams. They'd be more than happy to help. And then another important update that's coming from mobile this time is cross-device attribution reports. So we've had conversion tracking around for a long time now. Someone clicks on an ad, goes through, an action is completed, counts as a conversion. And cross-device conversions was launched, I think, three years ago. So this measures users' conversions that start on one device from an ad click and finish on another device. Um, and Google was able to extrapolate that data using logged in Gmail users and understand the cross device uh, conversion pattern and relationship there. What's new is cross device attribution 
attribution, should I say, which you can access from going, when you're in an average account, if you go to tools, then attribution. And this, there's three new reports contained within that measures the full uh, cross-device conversion path for search. Um, it's, it's actually really, really useful. And I'm going to just take you through an example now on the next slide. So as you can see here, this is a screenshot from um, an AdWords account. Cross-device activity on the left. There's three new drop-downs. You can see devices. You can see assisting devices and device paths. So devices is give you conversion information um, based on your devices, be it mobile, tablet, or desktop, and performance and how it's performed to date. Assisting devices is the screenshot we can see here. And what this does is show you you know, how each device assisted in a conversion, um, which is really impactful. We weren't able to do this before. So for example, mobile assist ratio here is 1.20. What that basically means is every conversion that happened on a mobile device, mobile assisted it, 1.20 um, click assisted conversions. So likewise for tablet and desktop. So this is information that we really didn't have before, um, and it's it's, it's kind of been launched. It was announced in the AdWords blog. It's fully launched in all accounts since last Friday, I believe it is. So you should be able to go in, see this information. And it's information we weren't able to get before, and it's quite useful. So the bigger picture with this is it helps you adjust your bids correctly and see the role and the importance each device actually plays when it comes to conversions for your users in AdWords search. And then the, the third report underneath assisting devices on the left is device paths. So what that basically means is you're able to see now um, a, a clear sort of linear path. So if, if a user started their journey on a mobile phone, went to a tablet, went to a desktop, then converted, we're able to capture that journey um, as long as it happened on Google search. Um, and you can see that in the device path section. So these are three really powerful reports that I encourage every advertiser um, to get familiar with, particularly because of the role mobile is playing in the industry. Um, and you know what, this is great information to, to, to even take back internally within your business and say, look, if you've ever had conversations about mobile performance on a last click basis, and maybe you're, you're faced with some challenges around how desktop and tablet are driving all your conversions, this is great information to be able to show people internally in your business and say, look, Mobile is assisting here, and it can help really shift um, a mentality and an understanding by by giving um, by giving your colleagues access to this information, so they can see exactly what's happening um, from a mobile perspective and a tablet and desktop perspective as well. So it's really cool stuff here. So very punchy, snappy, hanging on air today. Three key actions. One is have a minimum of four ad extensions in your account to get the best return on your investment. I kind of took you through already some of the extensions we have on offer. A good analogy I have for this is if you don't have as many ad extensions in your account that are relevant, it's kind of like being given a gift voucher. So say you're given a 50 pounds gift voucher and you something for 32 pounds, say, and you're happy because you have what you wanted. But then it's like neglecting the remaining uh, the, the remaining change on the card. So you're only half using it, you're not going back. Um, it's very similar for ad extensions in search. You might be showing, you might have an ad there, but uh, why wouldn't you want to increase the size of your real estate space? Why wouldn't you want to give users more information and get the best return on your investment? So don't be like the gift card voucher. Use every bit of, of, of your budget as wise as you can, and a really good way to do that is ensuring you have your ad extensions in place across all of your accounts. Um, any help you need with that, speak to your account team. They'll be more than happy to assist you on what ad extensions to use and uh, potentially even help you get those implemented as well. The second action is to check out the new mobile device reports that I briefly took you through. You can see it under Tools, Attribution, um, and it's really important to understand what percentage across device conversions you're driving and the role mobile plays, and not just mobile, okay? I mean, you can see how tablet and desktop are performing as well, and it helps you align your budget correctly across these, these devices. And then the third, there's kind of two actions in one here. It's get your extended, your expanded text ad copy created and live in your account, and also implement price extensions if you're an e-commerce client, um, it's a new extension just for mobile, 
So you definitely would want to get on board with that. It's very relevant. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any feedback or suggestions for future Hangouts and Air that we're looking to do every month, please let us know. All right. Thank you very much, guys.